Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yorkie Man here, and I am back with part 12 of season 2 on our Inter Milan save on Football Managers 2017. <clears throat> I do sound a bit croaky, still full of cold, cannot shake it. But it's season 2's time, and since the last episode, I went through some of the transfers, and some more transfers have been made. So let's quickly run through them. Our first game will be a bit, uh, against Sporting in this episode, and I will show you the Champions Cup group that we're in. Champions League group, basically. Um, but transfer wise <clears throat> the history was literally one 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 more player came in daily blend I mentioned him in the uh, in the last episode and it always looked like I was gonna sign him I told you guys he just plays all across that back and the defensive midfield position he just seems it went when you have to pick a squad with the homegrown players and whatnot it's he's just perfect for it he's perfect because he could play multiple positions and that just really just I was just like fantastic. I can't remember where I took you with the sales of players. There's been just a ton of loans in Gary Medell leaving for 1.4 million. And I'm pretty sure that I took you through everything really to be honest with you because the only real big deal I definitely took you through this the only other real big deal was the Akadi deal and I'm pretty sure I went through that or else I wouldn't have talked about signing Daily Blend um, and the schedule of the results that we've had so far was um, it's been a bit of a turmoil start to the season it's not been fantastic games have come quick and thick and fast and, and they're going to stay that way by the looks of it in our group we have Real Madrid, Sporting and Leverkusen so this is a group I do feel like we can get out of finishing second um, obviously Real Madrid you would imagine finished top um, but it's definitely a group I can see is getting out of but it's still not easy Sporting and Leverkusen are still not easy teams to contend with but so far the season started where Juventus and probably the, uh, the biggest well, quite a painful defeat was losing 4-2 to Juventus, they're signing um, Berardi, who I actually wanted um, to sign this summer, but they signed him last January, and he was on fire for him in this game. He scored four goals. Belotti managed to get one, and Benucci got an own goal because we went one, uh, we went one up. But nothing tactically I did in this game just changed anything. They just ran right through me. We then played against Fiorentina, and I picked up a a, a little bit of a lucky, well, not lucky, but just like a a walk away 1-0 victory we didn't seem to excel at all and it had me a little bit worried because then we played against Lazio who have definitely got a good team and improved their squad even more this season um, and they beat us 1-0 and Ever Benega got sent off in the 72nd minute and I was just like oh, this is not how I want the season to start so really realistically lads in this episode this game against Sporting this is our season starting hopefully and the way I'm going to do it is I brought you this one pretty quick because I just wanted to round off the transfer window show you the Champions League group so you knew what was going on I think the next game will actually be Real Madrid I want to start jumping through and trying to push through the series I'm eager to start my next series but also I feel like um, I set out at the start that I would do bigger updates so it'd be like bi-monthly or, or the two monthly or um, in that manner and I've just not done it whatsoever because I got carried away especially at the end of last season so I think it'll be the Real Madrid game next I'm not 100% sure I may push it no it, it'll probably be the first Real Madrid game next because we're away as well which is pretty pretty fun um, is that oh, I thought that was all three games in the Champions League away to start off with but Leverkusen's at home so we're going to kick off with the Porto game today and this is the formation I'm going to try out. Um, it's an old formation I used in Football Manager 2016, pretty much, and we've not had much joy with the um, with the game breaker one that we were using uh, last season. It's actually fallen apart for us this season. Um, it feels so definitely. We seem to look quite open when playing this but I'm still going to keep it on the books because I like the formation but we're going to go with this one and we're going to give it a try and it's the first time I've actually played this formation like a 4-5-1 on Football Manager 2017 so hopefully touch wood we're in for a victory today uh, teams that didn't get uh, teams players that didn't get registered with Sangu pretty much was the only big name of no well biggish name of no and he he wasn't happy with me lads he was actually really he was angry, knocking on the door, you know, why wasn't I picked? And he should understand because he's pretty, 
crap. But this is the squad we're going to go with. I think it suits us. Berahino's going to start up front today. I think. Beloy's got four goals. But they've come in. I think came in the cup, didn't they? Actually, only one in the league. Yeah, one in the league. Two in the Italian Super Cup. Um, and one in that Euro Super Cup. So he hasn't actually been banging in goals in the league. Which I know is a little bit worrying because he was supposed to be Mario Accardi's replacement. But he's looking good. So he, we, we stick to him. We've got faith in him, lads. So it's going to be Vela and Perisic. Uh, Payat through the middle. I'm looking at swapping out the attacking midfielder to advanced playmaker. But I feel because I'm using a deep line play. Actually no, I will go advanced playmaker. Mm. Do I go box to box midfielder? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go run with it like this, but I think Whitsell should play there. Yeah. This is this is the team we're gonna go with. This is the team this is gonna take us far in this cup. We won the European Super Cup, so we showed that we are a strong power in Europe, which has to be appreciated by everyone, of course. I hope. We have not pretty much no one. But um yeah, 12th place in Serie A, let's not talk... The, the games seem to be a bit easier. I don't class Fiorentina and Lazio as, e as easy games in this in this league. Um, but they are games I still want to win. We're predicted to finish second. We are predicted to finish second in. Um, I feel like the board's expectations was... reached the knockout stage of Europe. Not bothered about the cup whatsoever could care less and finish in the top three again in the league so the expectations aren't huge because without the Akadi sale they didn't really give me money there wasn't money put into the club which is strange because the balance is huge there's so much money has come into Inter right Shao Mario puts it in for Perisic oh, I thought he'd got his an early goal there I thought he'd got us an early goal he's a player who again I was contemplating selling but he he's so imperative to the way that this team plays sometimes in the heart of the team and this is not what I want to see oh, 1-0 down just having no look at the start of this second season just no look whatsoever how did that go in it's just poor marking here from the corner and it's, it's a good finish but it's just been such, I have to be honest, it's been such a frustrating start to this second season. Um, but more just goal-wise, we just don't seem a threat coming forward at any point. In any game I've played, I haven't felt comfortable with us coming forward. I mean, apart from Belotti's goal in the league, it is um, Miranda, I think, who's got the other goal. So it's just like, this. this is ridiculous. Where's our forward play coming from? And they should not be getting the ball back off us there, and they're going to counter now, aren't they? Gelson. This is going to be another goal. I can feel it. Bastost. Yeah. 2 0 down. We're just. I have no idea what is going on, why we were getting pummeled like this all of a sudden. It's, I'm finding it really frustrating. I found FM really enjoyable this year so far, but this season two of Inter is pushing my patience. It's really pushing my patience. It's like the squad's just completely crap all of a sudden. Absolute rubbish. 2 0 at half time. It looked promising we got the early chance, didn't we, lads? But oh, that's. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Do we revert back to old? We're gonna have to. <laughs> Belotti's gonna come on. Um, Belotti's gonna come on. And Brazovic is gonna come on. Oh, no, that was wrong. That was wrong. Mario's gonna go there. Brezovic in there. That's how we're gonna play it, and you're gonna be. They're gonna be box to box midfielders. 
that's how I'm going to play it. Touch wood, the desk. We can come back with some of this second half. Oh, such an awful first half. Oh, we played terrible. In every aspect of our game, we played terrible. Oh, is this going to be one of those second seasons that's just absolutely frustrating? I have no fear that we can turn it around and and that we should be able to turn it around. We need an early goal in the second half, but again, are they going to counter on us again? Wasteful in possession is what I would definitely say. Look at that possession percentage we've had. If we go three down here, this game over. There it is. Just... There's nothing I can say but absolutely wasteful in possession. 60% possession, 3 shots on target, 11. There's been very little difference in stats, statistically. But they've just been clinical, which we've had not, like, not a single snippet of being clinical at all. This is, this is one of those live comms that you just wish he wasn't live coming. I know after this I'm going to have to sit down for hours and try and work out some tactics which is going to turn this season around because it's not a poor team. We're definitely not a team that should be in this position. By the Leverkusen game we need to be uh, we need to be looking a damn sight better than this. Uh, Barbosa can come on with Berahino and I'll swap him and Bellotti around. I can't believe how bad that um, we've played defensively in this game it has been awful how does it look like they're going to be ours have not been ours Bloy. there's no you know there's no way back now Alex Witzel scores a screamer but um wasteful wasteful is definitely and, and we we prided ourselves on our defense last season I think we conceded the least amount of goals in the league but we've, we, as the away team, we've been absolutely all over him. But Andre Silva has been fantastic. But we've been absolutely all over him, and this is awful. I know, oh, Miranda, what is he doing? What is Miranda doing? Pulled up with an injury, twisted knee. I can't bring you off, though, can I? You've had an awful game. The win backs haven't been terrible, but my two centre backs have been absolutely awful 3-1 it's this is definitely not the result you want in the first game Pyatt's got an absolute freak of a goal by the looks of it that's a shot come cross if I've ever seen it that's an absolute freak of a goal this by Dimitri Pyatt here yeah, that's that's a cross, but three two. I'm just so I'm so unhappy because if you look at the stats, we've we obviously we we've dominated them, um, but we've let them put three past us, and that, that quite I'm not going to sympathise. That quite clearly is is not good enough, you know. Whistle played well, and that is it. To be honest with you. Very frustrating, very frustrating game to go down like that. Leverkusen beat Madrid. Oh, that makes it even more difficult. Ah, oh, so the first game in the Champions League, lads, we've we've gone and lost three two. But really, it was, I think, if anyone watched the game, it was embarrassing, to say the least. Adrian Silva ripped us a bit. They, they were just they were the better team, weren't they? Really, at the end of the day because they were more clinical but if stat wise we should be performing better and i'm hoping in coming games that'll just show through clearly if we're getting this kind of stats then surely it's, it's got to come through at some point um but anyway guys thanks a lot for watching this episode thanks a lot for the support on the series so far it's been so well received and so much appreciated by myself um it's really enjoyable i'm sorry for the croaky voice man it's um it's those struggles of this winter time it just seems to get me um i hope you're all doing well and i will catch you in the next episode where hopefully